Alrighty, today I'm uh, installing some A-Arm skid plates on my 2013 Polaris Razor. Uh, it's the 800S, so it is the wider version. Um, this was an eBay, I got this deal off eBay, it was front and rear. I believe it was uh, UTV, or Universal UTV parts or something. Um, it was about 130 for the uh, front and rear, and then it was like 10 bucks to ship it. Um, but I'll go through, uh, well, I'm about installing them. Uh, here is the uh, right side fully installed. Um, here's what you get. This is the uh, left front skid plate. Um, the longer bolt or carriage bolt goes through uh, the A arm at this uh, cross brace here. You can see there's a hole in it. And then the two smaller carriage bolts are for these top two holes that you can see there's holes in the A-arm frame up there and then what you need to do is it take a uh, Torx 25 bit to get these two uh, screws out of here and then that's what you'll use for uh, these two front mounting there they did give me uh, two screws for each side but the threads didn't match and I didn't want to force it so I'm just using the uh, stock screws that came with it and then on the rear there is the left side of the rear installed uh, this is a plate the taller side goes towards the front to protect it when you're driving forward there is a uh, plastic stock one that's kind of flimsy as you can see it right here that I'm and uh, the A-arm, the skid plate still fits with it on there, so I went ahead and left them on there. And uh, they fit right around it. You have three of the longer carriage bolts for this one. As you can see, there's uh, one here and two up at the top. There. One of the mounting bolts is right here. Tip my finger. And then one at the cross brace right here. Pretty self-explanatory. Um, torque them down just as tight, not too tight, because you'll strip them out. I don't think these are real strong uh, bolts, so I'm gonna uh, probably tighten them after one ride and then see how they do, and then if not, go buy some stainless. And that's that. Alrighty, here's what the final install looks like with uh, the front skid plates. Here is a shot from the back. Overall, the install uh, fit of them were pretty good. The only issue I had was those uh, <clears throat> two uh, screws on each side right here. But I just used the stock ones. Here are the ones they gave you. They look to be like a uh, self-tapping almost. Um, but here's all you needed was a uh, deep well of millimeter. Uh, shallow 11 millimeter and then here is the Torx bit as you can see right there a T25 and that's it thanks for watching